What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be looking at everything that's in my team today, lads. So before we get on to the view guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to hit 27,750 by the end of this month. If you guys like my team content, we upload one of the top three or four most right now. I can't even say with a straight face I upload the most anymore because I don't. Um, we're back with the same, be it the same like useless base packs. Um check these so the odds have been the same the entire season which isn't great considering that like you would assume tears like get slightly worse seasons gone on but look it has been we're in week number four of the season and we have the exact same odds in general there which is isn't ideal for the player market six percent discount six percent like 2k just make it 199k please What's it? It's not even a big discount. It's going to be like 15%. Like, you used to give us a 58% discount on these if you locked in. Like, you see the VC cost of these players of like 157k, 126k, 126k, 52k. See these three? You see this right here? Back in the day, this would have cost us 150k. But it costs us 249k right now. It's really not great. We have a deal of the day that is. Absolutely irrelevant. Absolutely, absolutely irrelevant. Like, the only reason this this card is not cheaper than 8,400 right now is because 2K have put in a system that he literally cannot go below 16,800. Because if you're saying, oh, but like, he's an Amethyst, that's the price they go for. Um, well, Season 5 Amethyst Leonard Miller is 7,800. I thought he was less than that. Um, Inferno Amethyst, 5,300. Dynamic duo, 5300. So these these amethysts are all cheaper. Like, even what what price are these amethysts? They're 16,000, 16, aren't they? Yeah. So season three amethysts are stuck at 16,800. I think season two are the same price, if I'm not mistaken. Um, No. Some of them are higher, Jesus. Wow. The player mark is the worst thing 2K have ever released in this game. But um, yeah, that's the price of these cards. Like, it is what it is for them. Um, if you like them, great. If you don't, so be it. So let's take a look at the um, agenda. See what you get for the TT Online. Uh, because, like, obviously, Eddie Jones is unbelievable. So I just want to see what you get. So it's Jermaine O'Neal. <laughs> that's so bad. That card's so bad. Oh my god. I initially thought, and I was like, is if he's auctionable, maybe he sells for something, but that card's so garbage. Like, I know he goes up to a pink diamond, but his pink diamond sucks too. Like, he's 25k is the price that he goes for, which means that you're getting even if he is auctionable, you're getting 10k. That's awful. Oh! Okay. So you get a season five promo pack. So in last week's, am I right in saying that it was different? It was worse last week. So it was 60 minutes. Yeah, 60 minutes. Okay, so you at least get a season five promo pack, which is about 45k VC worth. Um, you're probably getting nothing of note. You're probably getting a bad pink diamond, to be honest. But it's better. It's better. Like, and you get Eddie Jones. Let's not forget, like, you get Eddie Jones in that, which is really, really important. So then we're going to take a look at the, um, just see any spotlight challenges in general. Um, I see, can I read these spotlight challenges? So stratosphere, first one is obviously just win by, win 15 points. Win a game to 21 points by four points or more, easy. Win a game from 30 points and prevent your opponent from stealing the ball two times a team. That's super easy. Especially if you do get Cog Corver. If you do have Cog Corver and you do get a normal Stratosphere pack, which gives you a chance of getting something. Um, and then this one right here is block two shots a team. This is going to be annoying. I think two, three zones send him into a big center, but just blocking shots because they just start putting up floaters and everything is really, really annoying. So let's check out the agenda. So I would say the agendas are important to do before you lock in in general, because a lot of people will say this is the one, this is the best week to lock in. 
So the Stratosphere agendas win five games using three pink diamond or higher players. That's easy. Like again, if you've got, you can get three ball. If you don't have any of them, you can do world be free and tree Rollins in like a few minutes and you get some of the bold players really quickly. So this is pretty easy. One game using 30 rocks players, easy. Super easy, super easy, super easy. Oh, this is like an hour. This is the quickest one of these we've seen. So winning five games of three pink diamond players. Like if you have three pink diamond rocket players, which most people don't, obviously it counts for that, but like, just if you have the pink diamond players, do it in TT Online. If you win, you could win three games. If you win three games, you've got your 60 points. Offensive boards and 50 second chance points is easy. Literally just start chucking bricks. You can do this really easily. To do to get offensive boards, the easiest way to do it is this. So you go to like single player TT and you build a team of like gold. What I always like to do is I always, you don't want to run three gold centers because there's a chance that you could come up against a, um, there's a chance you come up against someone like a, obviously a, like tall, three tall players. So let's just put in Pritchard who's tiny and, um, who can't shoot. Are there any guards that can't shoot? So I want a point guard with like an F3 ball if possible. They don't exist. Carlick Jones is a D plus. So you, obviously you don't want to shoot with Peyton Pritchett, but you go into TT online and this is how you can get these. So, or offline, you can get these 50 offensive boards is probably about 20 minutes. You're winning five games of pink diamond players is less than that. And that's like most of it. And then always you can just put, get in second chance points. So literally just, if you're looking for second chance points, you can see there, because of the lineup I'm running with, I'm coming up against tiny lineup because they do try to match up heights to you guys and just shoot a brick catch the board every single time and don't be lazy set the screen every time send them to the basket shoot a brick and nine times out of ten you're gonna get the ball maybe not nine maybe eight times out of ten you're gonna get the ball which is the important thing so that's all you have to do for that so these challenges are super easy and you're guaranteed something good well, you're not guaranteed. Unless you get Jonathan Kaminga. There's a six, there's a five and six chance you get something good from that bag. And if you're going to lock in, you save yourself quite a lot of MT doing that as well. And it's the quickest of these challenges as well. So it's not, it's really not the worst thing in the world going for it because like offensive boards, easy. Rockets win, easy. Five pink diamond up, easy. Easy. And then completing the spotlights. If you get the two blocks quickly, the spotlights are going to take you 15 minutes. So about 15 minutes with the spotlights, this is gonna take you, if you combo up this with this and you can get the three wins, the other two wins are gonna take you seven minutes. Um, and then this is probably gonna take you, it's probably about an hour. It's probably about an hour, which is unbelievable. Like it's a no brainer to do that. And then also if you guys are playing TT online, it might be actually a bit of a sweat to be fair. Um, so if you do get your points and you haven't won any games and you get it in like four losses, it probably goes to an hour and 20 minutes if you're winning five games CD offline. But if you've got Pink Diamond Corver, or not Pink Diamond, Opal Corver, or heck, even even Ruby Corver, it's grand. And then also, like, 50 wins. This is one of the better days as far as Friday content for grindable stuff. It's actually really good, the players we're getting.